Look for temperatures to stay warm for us tonight as a cold front tries to approach into tomorrow morning. Now the chance of a sprinkle or a light shower pops up overnight and that threat will stick around at least through midday tomorrow until this front clears and, and we catch some uh, better weather trying to slide in for your Friday evening. I am watching for some fog Friday night and into Saturday morning, but the bigger story of the weekend becomes this storm that's brewing out in the middle of the country. This will bring the threat of rain back to our forecast and some gusty wind and even a chance of some thunder as we go on into Sunday and Sunday night. Tonight I'm not expecting heavy rain, just a small chance that a sprinkle or a shower pops up uh, later this evening. Temperatures only sliding into the upper 40s and that isolated shower or sprinkle threat sticks around into your Friday morning. It's going to be a mild day with those temperatures starting in the upper 40s and then building uh, back through the mid 50s here ahead of that cold front and that chance of a shower or sprinkle will linger at least into the early afternoon hours and then some clouds trying to hold on uh, late afternoon right on into tomorrow night and there is a chance for some areas of fog to develop as the night goes on into the start of your Saturday morning. We'll have to watch that as uh, it tries to hold on to get your Saturday started. Temperatures tonight upper 40s chance for an isolated shower or a sprinkle tomorrow uh, right back into the middle 50s. Uh, look for that chance of a shower or a sprinkle to wrap up as we go into the afternoon afternoon, then watching for that fog tomorrow night and Saturday morning. Highs near 50 on Saturday if we can break back into a few peaks of sunshine, but the temperature keeps warming up on Sunday ahead of the bigger storm that I talked about that's in the middle of the country. That'll bring rain, some gusty wind possible, and the chance of thunder uh, right on into your Sunday night. On the backside, we start cooling Monday, but it looks like most of the day stays warm enough. Those will be rain showers, uh, hit and miss throughout the day, and then turning cold enough for some snow showers for your your New Year's Eve day, especially up into the snow belt. Uh, not looking at any significant snow at this point, but the chance for a snow shower or flurry uh, lingering into your New Year's Eve as temperatures dip into the middle 20s and then a small chance of a lake effect snow shower or flurry on New Year's Day, especially through the northern snow belt. Otherwise, cooler and some clouds around as we kick off the new year.